Okay, here's a fun little project I did yesterday, and it's a replication of Ludic Science's little uh, Newman motor. He called it a Newman motor. And uh, it was such an ingenious way to build a motor that I had to replicate it. And uh, he used uh, my little uh, super simple electronic pulse motor circuit that just uses a, an NPN transistor, a couple of coils of wire uh, between a rotating north-south magnet, the trigger coil tells the transistor to turn on, which turns on the drive coil, which turns the rotor. Uh, you use an LED across the uh, drive coil and the flyback mode to show the, uh, the uh, motor running, and it runs on 1 to 2 volts. And you can run it on a super cap too, but uh, I'm just calling this the LS lid motor pulse motor. I did this yesterday, and uh, this is really a Ludic Sciences uh, motor configuration and I'll give you the link to his excellent video on this little motor but the ingenious way that he just took a uh, tongue depressor stick and uh, round toothpicks and you cut off the end of the round toothpicks and you glue them on that um, tongue depressor mount it on a little piece of wood and then he build up a little rotor like a Newman motor rotor with magnets in a north-south configuration and you just use that simple uh, one transistor circuit that I've shown before. Um, no other components, uh, just that, and then uh, uh, one to two volts on your source, and you come up with a motor. Let's see if I can get this to go. It's a little hard to start on mine. Uh, I don't have big enough magnets for it, but let's see what happens here. And uh, like I say, it could be configured as a regular Newman, um, and you could uh, make this a Newman motor, but this is running as a, a regular, uh, like a Bedini window motor kind of thing, um, in a way. Uh, only the coils aren't wound together, they're separated, but uh, it lights up the little LED, which is kind of fun. And that's in the flyback. Uh, you notice it's a one and a half volt battery lighting up a two and a half volt uh, LED, and it does that because um, it's capturing the flyback as this magnetic field collapses. It shoots backwards in uh, a flyback mode and uh, lights the LED. And there's not much to that little uh, circuit. Uh, this basically replaces a reed switch, only it's just the transistor. But there's no resistor, no capacitor, no nothing, just one little component, and you make a little motor out of it. And, uh, like I say, the way he constructed this out of these simple little parts, I thought it was really ingenious. And there's no bearings, you just poke a hole through the tongue depressor stick and you lubricate it up real good, and then you, you use these little uh, toothpicks as a, what would be a bobbin kind of configuration to wind the coils on. Now I put 200 winds on each one of these coils. He uh, mismatched them. He had like 150 and then 200 for the trigger. But uh, I got mine to work with just 200. And I didn't have the right kind of wire on hand. I used Litz wire, which you shouldn't use. You should use regular solid uh, wire. But, you know, about 30 gauge wire. And like I say, a couple of hundred turns on that. And uh, you make yourself up a nifty little motor. And if you want to, you can run it on a super capacitor. It makes a real nifty little uh, capacitor type of motor. But I just used a one and a half volt battery. This is a great, great project for anybody. And would make an excellent uh, science fair type of project for uh, somebody studying electronics and electric motors. And this is a brushless DC motor. And uh, it's using an electronic circuit and, uh, with the sensor being the coil instead of a hall sensor. But you could run this with a hall sensor circuit quite easily. And you could configure the coils differently and do all kinds of things with this basic construction. And like I say, it was so neat, I just had to build one up right away. And like I say, it's so simple. It's just a, a tongue depressor stick with toothpicks glued on it to hold the wire. And then the magnets are put on that uh, rotor. Now, I wanted to take mine apart, so I put those on there just using magnetism. And I didn't uh, 
I want to have to tear it all apart, so I just use magnetism on the. It's a paper clip. But, uh, I'll stop it here and show you what it looks like. Little propeller looking thing, so you can see it rotate. And then uh, down in there are the magnets that uh, spin around, just like a normal moon motor. Um, I had a lot of trouble because I didn't uh, use strong enough magnets, and I had a lot of trouble getting it to run. Let's see if I can get it to go again here. Like I say, I, I did this so fast yesterday, I had trouble getting it to actually work. There it goes. It runs better if you use a little bit more voltage on it, but like I say, it makes the LED light up and made a nifty little motor. So anyway, I'll give you the link to Ludic Science. Um, he has a rugged description of how to build it and the parts and what goes on. Thanks for watching.